you know, and was strong on my case. Um, the issue of this began after I had visited certain shrines and gone to some places seeking for help. And I remember I went to this particular place and the, the guy came out and said that, uh, what do you want? And I said, I came for help. And he said, where, where, where you come from? Where are you from? And I said, I cry. And uh, he shook his head and then he did some things, you know, he, he tried to manifest and uh, uh, then he said, I can't help you. And then I said, what do you mean? He said, I can't help you. And he said, young man, as for you, the only one who can help you is the man up there, you know, referring to God. You know, but he didn't say God, he said the man up there. And then he said, you, you, you go. So he sent me back. And um, I went to so many places and I believe that after those were negative exposures, I shouldn't have gone to those places because whatever I was seeking after my life, you know, uh, I went to uh, Satan's ambassadors. So I fell into their hands. I played into their hands. So I believe that it opened me up for them to access me. And uh, at this particular time, I started hearing voices, you know, and then uh, the voice commanded me. In those days, we didn't have standby generators. I lived with my dad at the airport residential area. And the voice said to light a candle, and I had it in my room, on my table. So I lighted a candle. Then the voice said, place your right hand on the flame. And I did. And it was like I was captured and overpowered when I placed my hands on the flame and the voice said, don't take your hands off till I command you to do so. And uh, it was as my lips were sealed. And I lacked the power and the ability to, to resist the influence and the power of the voice and to take my hands off. And the pain was unbearable to the point that I had to scream for help. And uh, uh, not too long after that, they broke the door and came to rescue me. But by the time they came in, I've lost all these things. Everything was gone, you know, and I had to be admitted at Kolibu Ward age for four months and had all kinds of encounters there. Mm. Uh, it was there I had an encounter and got saved and got born again and started uh, seeking and searching and asking questions. And then I came uh, to the revelation that I was born for this purpose, you know. We will talk about that purpose a little more in a moment.